Hey guys, I hope everybody is doing all right. Um, we're going to talk about systems of equations and word problems. And we've been talking about systems of equations. And remember that a system of equations is when you have more than one equation. So we've been looking at system of equations. We have two equations and um, we graph them. We try to solve um, the system of equations. And what we're going to look at here is word problems that involve systems of equations. And um, we got to basically write them, find the equations. These will these will have two equations that we'll write, and then I can show you how to solve them. We can plug them into Desmos actually, and graph them, and find a pretty easy solution. I'll show you that. Um, but the main part is got to be able to write them. So remember that a system of equations. One more time, I'm just going to scribble this in. But remember that's uh, more than one, more than one equation. Okay, so that's what we're doing when we're talking about a system of equations more than one equation. Let's look at this word problem and see if we can get a system out of this. So it says Lizzie and Noah each took their families to a comic book show. Lizzie spent $25 on adult tickets for herself, her husband, and children's tickets for her three children. Noah spent $20 for an adult ticket and four children's tickets. All right. So it seems like there's a lot going on there, but what it really is is we have two different sets of information. We have Lizzie's set of information. So she uh, we know she spent $25 on some tickets. We don't know how much each ticket costs, like how much are adult tickets, how much are the child's tickets. We, we don't know. That's kind of what we're going to write the system to solve. So we have Lizzie's information, and then Noah has kind of a similar but a different situation happening with this the tickets that he got. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write it out, and we'll get some variables out of this, and then we can put these into two equations. So we'll write an equation first for Lizzie. So I'm just going to put this down here. Lizzie's, going back to that sentence for her, Lizzie spent $25 on adult tickets for herself and her husband. So adult tickets for herself and her husband, well, that's two, two adult tickets that she got for herself and her husband. And then it says children's tickets for her three children. So then she got three of the children's tickets. So I'm just going to use, and I'm using variables, the A and the C, A for adult tickets, C for children's tickets. We'll probably change those to X and Y when we solve, but I'm going to leave them like that right now. And uh, we know she spent $25. I'm going to include that too. I'll just put a 25 down there. That's Lizzie's info. Let's look at Noah's. So Noah, a little different. Noah's over here. He didn't buy as many. He only got one. So Noah spent $20 on an adult ticket, so he only got one adult ticket. Go back and do that in blue, so he got one adult ticket, and four children's tickets right over there. So he had four children's tickets, and then he spent $20, so just $20 there. So, essentially it doesn't ask us, but we probably would be asked, uh, you know, how much are adult tickets, how much are children's tickets? We need to solve for two different variables here. So. What we're going to do is write an equation. So we have we have Lizzie's and we have Noah's. Let's start with Lizzie's information first. Well, let's write an equation. It's actually not too tricky to do this one because all we're going to say is, hey, look, two adult tickets plus the three children's tickets that she got needs to equal twenty-five dollars. So I got three A plus or two A. I'm sorry, plus three C equals twenty-five. That's a check off for Lizzie's information right over there. That's a good equation there. Let's continue our system and let's go into Noah's. So for Noah's, we've got one adult. So I'm just going to put A. I'm not going to put the one with it. I'm just going to put A plus the 4C for children's tickets. And that's going to equal $20. So basically, that's the system right there. That is actually the answer for the system of equations that we can write from the word problem. We can solve it. I'm going to show you that real quick. But if some, some questions, some prompts will just say, hey, just solve for the system. Bam, there it is. We got it. We're good to go. Okay. Now let's say we need to solve. We need to figure out what is what is the value for A and C in all these. Okay. How much is an adult ticket? How much is one of the children's tickets? Well, what we can do is, I'll show you real quick, is we can go into, sorry, I was going to shrink that down, but we can go into Desmos. So Desmos, I've shown you, you can go online you can access desmos on your chromebook ipad on your phone it's very accessible it's it's very powerful it's pretty easy to use um and you don't have to sign up or anything you can just hit the graphing calculator so you can pull up desmos and i show you i can't really switch straight over to 
the app on this program, but I can show you some screenshots of how I did this. So all I did is I pulled up the graphing calculator on Desmos. I had my equations, which I'm sorry, right here, 2a plus 3c equals 25. So I had 2a plus 3c equals 25, and then a plus 4c equals 20. All you need to do is Desmos is you need to make sure your variables are x and y. So the a and the c here, and it doesn't really matter. I could have put them as x and y at the beginning. It doesn't really matter what your variables are. I kept them as they, they kind of made sense in this word problem. But I could rewrite this whole equation, this whole system of equations as 2x plus 3y equals 25. And then I can do the second equation is x plus 4y equals 20. And that's actually what I'm going to do in this case because if we solve for it, this is how we have to plug it into Desmos. So I go over to Desmos. I go at the top left right over here in that spot right over there. I'm going to plug in the first equation, which was 2x plus 3y equals 24. Once you plug that in, it's going to graph the line. And you're going to get this line right over here. It has this blue line that's going across. Then we just go down to the right below that. We put the, the graph of the second equation in, x plus 4y equals 20. And it graphs the second line. So I've got the blue line and the green line. What I'm looking for now, if I want to solve, is where do the lines intersect? Where do they intersect? Right at that spot. There's a little gray dot there. If you click on that dot on Desmos, bam, it gives us the answer to the system right there. So it's pretty straightforward if you can put this in. If you have the right equations, you put it in Desmos, basically gives you the answer. So what does that really mean? Well, it means that the adult tickets were 7.2 or $7.20. And the children's tickets were $3.2 or $3.20 in that word problem if we need to solve, all right? So let's try another one, okay? So Jesse has four Pokemon cards in his collection, four more Pokemon cards in his collection than Manuel. Together, they have a total of 20 Pokemon cards. How many cards do both Jesse and Manuel have? Okay, now we need to solve, but let's go ahead and let's get our equation going, all right? So... We can say, to start with, this first piece is Jesse has four more Pokemon cards, four more Pokemon cards in his collection than Manuel. So basically, what we could say here, we got to think about how we would write this, but I'm going to use J and M for the variables to start with. But Jesse, basically, if we had Jesse's value and we subtracted away Manuel's, it would equal four because Jesse has four more. So whatever those numbers are, if we subtract, I'm going to get 4 once we do that subtraction. So that would be the first equation I can write for basically this first piece of information that we get in the word problem right there. Now, it says secondly, together they have a total of 20 Pokemon cards. Well, that's not too bad. That means Jesse's amount plus Manuel's amount, our second part to complete our system, equals 20. So bam, that's our system of equations right there. So now we could solve it. And I have J minus M equals 4 is 1. J plus M equals 20. I'm going to shrink it down, and I'll just rewrite it real quick. I think we had J minus M equals 4. We had J plus M equals 20. Now, let's reassign the variables real quick. Now, I could have done that at the beginning, but because we're going to solve, I could basically write this as uh, X minus Y. I could use X for Jesse's value. Y is manuals equals 4, and then I could do x plus y in the second one equals 20. I simply just changed out the variables right over there because now, now that we have the system of equations, I can go back into Desmos, so I'll pull it up again, go back over to Desmos, just like I did last time, and I'll plug my equations in. So I put the first one in, x minus y equals 4. It graphs that first line in purple. Got it going right there, looks good. Drop down and put the second one in. That was x plus y equals 20. I get the lines that intersect now. And I'm looking at that spot right there. Where do they cross? If you tap on it, bam, there it is, 12 and 8. So what that basically means is x is equal to 12, y is equal to 8, or Jesse's value. Jesse has 12 Pokemon cards, and Manuel has 8. And if you think about the word problem, yeah, Jesse has four more right there. And then 12 plus 8 is 20 that they have together. So that's how we can solve. Desmos makes it pretty simple if you can get the equation to plug it in and get the answer.
Let's do one more, one more kind of tricky one, just in case these come up, uh, and then we'll close this out. Lonnie was cleaning the living room and found change in the couch. The 20 coins she found were nickels and quarters. There were three times as many nickels as quarters. How many of each coin did Lonnie find? All right. Now this time I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. So first off, first piece of information, we know we're going to have to write a system, two equations. Um, the 20 coins she found were nickels and quarters. So basically, we have nickels and quarters. So we know that the nickels plus the quarters equal 20. Okay. So we could write it as that. I didn't write a very good Q there, but you get it. That's just my variables if I want to put it. We'll probably change that to X and Y, but we get it for now. Now, the second part's a little tricky. There were three times as many nickels as quarters. Hmm, how can we write that equation? So three times as many nickels as quarters, and we need to have it be an equation with an equal sign in there. What we might think of doing is saying that there were three times as many nickels as quarters. So if we did three times Q, really, that would be equal to nickels, right? Because if there's three times as many nickels as quarters, you'd have to multiply the quarters times three for it to equal out. So that's actually how we can write that equation or put these systems in. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm actually not going to box that in. Let's put it in variable form. So let's go with the N and the Q, right? Let's go with X plus y equals 20 there. And on the other one, so 3q, q actually represents the y value. So I'm going to do y, 3y, sorry, equals x, because n represents that x value. And we've got a system. We've got a system we can go in and we can graph. Like I said, it's, the key is just getting equations and then going over to Desmos. So go back over to Desmos. We put in the first one, x plus y equals 20. It gives us this red line hitting right over there on 20 and 20. Looks good. Put the 3y equals x, and we get that other one. And now we can see where that intersection is. Right there, if you tap on it, it's at 15 and 5, which means the x value is 15, the y value is 5, or the nickels, 15, the quarters, 5. And if that makes sense, right, because the... 15 and 5 is 20, which the word problem said. And then uh, 15 is 3 times the amount of 5, which if we go back to the word problem, it also said there's the 20 coins, there's the 3 times. So that gets us what we were looking for. And this is how we can write systems of equations from word problems and then solve them using Desmos. Um, that's going to be your friend when you go in and solve these.